and i'm sure so today in our drawing again we have to draw something which ma'am is going to tell you going to be a, a half information rest half you have to think and draw on your own okay so let's begin from the left side of our sheet we are now i'm not telling you what are we drawing you have to think so let's make a curve here again okay so this is the head of the human figure that we are drawing make this curve okay and make your curves and turns whatever you do very slowly because if you will draw or uh, if you will draw quickly your lines will become dirty bad and then you will need a eraser so whenever we draw we should make sure that we should use less of eraser whenever right? very less eraser so from here go up like this yeah and then come down again so it's like a wave now any guesses what does it looking like like uh, octopus yes banana bingo that came to my mind also it looks this is like a girl are we doing a girl yes here yeah somebody said girl's hair who said Me. that yeah sir and then prithvi also said that right yes. yes so girl's hair okay so now again one more time we'll go up and come down dimahi turn your camera on bachche then again up and down this is a three times we will do this okay and after doing this third time then this curve will go this side draw like this and go up so these are the curves see if if these does not come exactly like how ma'am is drawing is also fine it can be a little changed so again coming down and going up okay now leave it here now coming back to this round shape that we had drawn we are going to make a little curve a small curve and slowly this line so these are all the lines which are little curvy so this is also a curve so these are the hair we are drawing the hair and we have to show the side face of so this is how you have to make it now what is it looking like a bird or something what is your imagination say bird bird <laughs> Yes, it looks like a bird now, but it is not a bird. Now let's draw it further. Are we done till here, Dimahi, Prithvi, Sahana, Ishita? Yes. Yeah. Superb. Good job. Now this is somebody who is very, very. Now I'm going to draw the expression. You tell me what expression it is, okay? Now from here, you have to come down. This is the forehead, okay? above this forehead again we will make more hair so we'll cover it up with another curve like this do it these two lines all right and then very slowly we are going to draw the features so you need to be very neat into this now this is how we have to draw the nose this is the nose okay the nose and then a small standing line below it very small like a penguin <laughs> yeah penguin and then like also open mouth somebody who is like shouting ah like that okay you can show teeth just two or three whatever space we have Okay, just the upper teeth, upper one are visible, and then the chin. So you have to go down, and you have to go here, and this is how you will touch the hair. Okay, now this is somebody who is. Now let's draw the eye and the eyebrow. It's a mummy. 
it's mummy <laughs> why do you think it's mummy prithvi thank god because mama they always keep on scolding you no <laughs> then it's like that it's like that okay let's see you are i'll tell you okay so draw the eyebrows the eyebrows are also like this the angry hmm is it looking at this, this lady is angry and the eye now the eye this is how we'll draw the eye and i ball angry lady okay now inside the hair you can draw with your pencil only some lines to show like to give a little natural touch to the hair some lines you can draw like this okay so we will draw now further what are we going to draw not all over just a few of the places now the lady we have drawn the face we have drawn and the head we have drawn now let's draw the body so why is this lady this mouth is open we will draw her shoulder from here yes dimahi now we can see you hello dimahi yeah okay now from this line this curve which is there in her hair you have to show the arm coming down okay so arm is coming down from your hair. this is a arm a slanting line make your make sure that you are doing very slowly and neatly ma'am is not doing very fast no you should also be doing it very slowly and then again one more this is her t-shirt so close it over here we will draw the arm also so this is the side look of this lady right that's why we we, are, we can see her the one side of her face and now let's draw her arm one two and this is her elbow and the other part of her arm going up and up now see when you draw your hands and your uh, other body parts you should see how actually they are look at your arm your arms become narrower from this part and they're broader from here okay so try to put that into your drawings and then let's draw her hand so why is she angry she is pointing out her finger also one finger is out rest of her fingers are closed and this is her hand now what do you think what is coming to your mind share your ideas with me what comes to your mind ishita ishita wants to say something i want to say yeah tell me sahana i think she she, she took a, her daughter took a plate and put it down and she didn't say she lied it that's only oh okay so the daughter is also there that's what you want to say yes Yeah. Okay. Dimahi was saying something. Yes, Dimahi. Uh, the lady uh, hurt her hand. The lady's hand is burnt. This is what you're thinking. Okay. Yes. Maybe that's why she's shouting. Okay. Then what is Prithvi thinking? What is Prithvi thinking? Prithvi. Anything does not come to mind. What? Say it again. Nothing is coming to my mind. Nothing. Okay. Whenever it comes, you tell us. Okay. Now let's draw. So uh, from this part of the hair, we have to draw her back. Okay. So she has her body is bent a little. That's why we have drawn this curved line. This is her T-shirt. Okay. And. this is how you will show the little bent body okay she is not straight her back is bent a little that's why we have drawn it like this 
and then we will draw the lower part of her body again with a slight curved line and go to slight right side and from here also so this is the side portion of her body which is visible okay so this is how you close it at the bottom you can make her shoe or some footwear whatever you want to make i have made a shoe like this okay you can show some pocket on her pants some design over her t-shirt now this part i always leave on you whatever design some polka dots some small stars or any stripes you want to show you can show in uh, inside the uh, her t-shirt or pants okay so maybe there can be small dots of different colors or stars or something anything but don't make too much of them also don't fill them a lot they should be just a few of them and these i am doing with black color you can also do some different colors and all you can use okay pant i will just leave it like that so now uh, this it is looking like this lady is scolding someone and the another elbow you can show little bit come is visible from uh, this side this is her another this part which i have just drawn is her t-shirt and this is her elbow okay so this will give a little natural look that one of her arm is on the other side of the body and is not visible properly whole okay now she is upset with something and what is she upset with we have to see that so there is another person who is standing with her who's that who's that a little naughty boy okay so a boy or a girl now whatever you want to draw i will draw a boy so you can follow me rest i'll tell you what do you have to draw and what is your imagination after that you will do that okay so let's draw the hair first we always start drawing from the top so this is how the boy is having hair some small small curves this and this can be done free hand this this it's looking like a cloud right now yes it looks like the cloud right now it looks like a cloud boy <laughs> ah, it looks like a cloud boy yeah <laughs> okay now this is the face of the boy this okay very neatly don't put much pressure on the pencils at all okay you don't have to put put pressures on the pencil and then make the ear over here now let me know if ma'am is going too fast okay and now let's draw the expressions of this boy now you will tell me what expressions are these now you're going to draw the <laughs> yes beta there are there are yes prithvi what what did you say another year another year yes you have we have to make one more year yeah here Okay, now these are the eyebrows, and see the eyes are like this. Mm, what expression do you think the boy is showing? The boy is very sad. That's the nose. That's the sad face of the boy. Now, how what is the expression? Sad. Now, when you are scolded, how is your expression? sad when your mama scolds you do you laugh what do you do you make a sad face 
Then you say sorry also. Yeah. Yeah, because mamas, they never scold you just like that. You must have done something naughty. Okay. So now the face is ready. Now let's make the body of the boy. So just a small curve around this part, the neck, and then we'll make her T-shirt. It's very easy to draw the cartoon bodies. Just two slanting lines. Join them. This is like his T-shirt. And then you can show the shorts or the pants, whatever you want to draw. Some of like, you should not copy ma'am entirely. You should put your own thoughts also. If you want to draw shorts, you can draw the shorts. If you want to draw the pants like I am doing, make some changes to it. Huh? I would love to see the uh, your own ideas that you will put in your drawings. Now, this is the body and... He, his hands are behind because he's been scolded, no? So he's listening to mama and the hands are behind. Poor boy, listening. Now, are both mama and baby are ready. Now, again, in the child's clothes also, you can add on some stripes or some pocket or you should not leave them just blank okay but not too many of things also now see i had just drawn two stripes and two pockets and it's looking so good okay now they are inside a home so because it's a house you have to show some uh, something that it should look like a room so room here, so because so that's why I'm drawing this line. Okay, this should be done freehand. It's okay if it is not coming very straight, but try to do freehand straight line and draw a window behind somewhere on the right, on the left, anywhere. You can draw a wall clock. You can draw a picture hanging on the wall. If it's a wall, I'm drawing this. It's a window. So I'm giving you ideas. You can implement those. You can make your drawings different. These all things can be a little different from what ma'am is drawing. Okay, this is what drawing is all about. Imagining and drawing. So copying entirely, then you are not learning anything. See, this is how I have drawn the window. This is the window. Mama is scolding this child. What has he done? What has he done? Now, there can be a clock or there can be something now. The question is, what has this child done? Okay. So, there can be a dialogue from mother. You can make a dialogue box. You can write something. I know too. Why are you doing this? Ah, why are you doing this? And what is boy thinking? What is boy saying? But what is the reason? This is what you have to think now. What is the reason? Is there a broken plate over there? Or something which this child has done? What, what do you think this boy has done? You have to tell me that. What do you think? this boy has done something is broken what do you think so if something that which has been broken by this boy you have to draw that somewhere on the floor okay if you think the boy has dropped some food on the floor that's why mama is scolding or the boy has not finished his homework his notebooks are lying here or he has not picked up his toys from the room. That can also be drawn. So I have given you so many ideas. Okay. Now you have to think. What has this boy done? He has made his room very messy. That's why mama is scolding. Okay. So you can draw a cupboard also. See, there, are, there is a lot of space which is not used. So you should always try and use the space which is there, okay? So this is like a shelf or an almira uh, which can be drawn. And you can you can show something here. There, The things are kept. Some tumblers are there. Some books are there. If it is a bookshelf, you can show. Mom! Books are there. Yes, bachche? He broke his crayon. 
Yeah, he broke his new crayons. That's why he's getting a good scolding from his mother. I will not do it again, mama. That's what he's saying. What is he saying? I will not do it again. This is a pen stand. You can show some pens inside. Okay, this is this child's room. And he has, maybe he has broken a plate. Okay, so if it is a plate, you can show the broken pieces of the plate over here. He has broken something. Then he snatched, they snatched the item all broken. Hmm. And he says, I will not do it again. Sorry. My mistake. I'm so sorry. Ma'am? Yes? Uh, from her hand, uh, mobile, mobile fell down. Yeah, mobile fell down. Very good, Ishita. You can draw a mobile. Very good idea. Mama's mobile has fallen and Mama is very angry. Why did you do this? She's scolding. Okay. You can... Maybe Mama's laptop. Mama's laptop has fallen down. Oh my God. Then Mama should be more angry, no? <laughs> okay. So maybe he's broken something. His toys are lying all around here and there. Okay, this is his toy. You can draw the toy. His toys are both ties are broken. What is broken? His toys. Toys are broken and he, he see his teddy is lying on the ground. His blocks are lying on the ground. He has not picked up his toys. Okay, these are the blocks which I am drawing here. All right. So now I'm giving you five minutes to grow this drawing. Draw whatever is coming to your mind and I'll start putting colors into it, okay? Write something in the dialogue box also. Why? What have you done? Why have you done this? Okay, why? Ma'am? You can just write one word also. It's very expressive. Why? Ma yes, bache. The boy, the books are lying down. The books are lying down. Yes, the books are also lying down. You can draw some books over here. Okay, these are the books are also lying on the floors. Such a naughty boy, no? Does not take care of his toys. Should we do like that? No. Now draw a little and then trace it. Yes, Prithvi. Okay, you are showing me. Very good. But I can't see it very clearly because it is not traced. So if you have drawn, start tracing. Okay, so tracing is what do we do? We have to put, uh, we have to do uh, all the tracing at... With a black sketch pen, yes, tell me. The dad was seeing this and expression putting like this. 
expression would be like what? Now slowly we all will trace our drawing once it is done. So the how dad, trace? The dad is putting like expression like this. <gasps> dad is also there. Very yeah. good. Draw dad also if you want to draw. Dad also is there. <gasps> why, why are you scolding my son? Then she says, He's, look at this boy. He is not taking care of his room. Broken things. let's trace and then we will start filling colors into our drawing so you keep on tracing ma'am will start filling colors now but you will take your time okay don't do it very quickly because coloring is something which will take time you can also finish it tomorrow all right so i'll start coloring now Yes, Sahana, you are on mute, Bachche. What are you trying to say? Can I show you my drawing? Yes, you can show me your drawing. Show me. What have you drawn? I just started to trace. Started to trace. Dimahi, are you tracing? Very good, Sahana. Very good. Trace it slowly, okay? And when you trace, make sure you are not putting pressure on the sketch pen. It should be done with a very light hand. Her mama saying, why are you doing this? And, he, and the boy is saying, I'm sorry. Okay, what is mama saying? Sahana, I miss listening to you. Mama said, why are you doing this? And why are you doing this? Yes, and, and we should not do bad things, right? We should follow what our elders say. We should listen to them. So now, see, but keep on watching the coloring technique, which ma'am is going to tell you. Now, always start from the top of your drawings. Never start coloring from the middle, okay? Never color from the middle or from the left or from the right and then again going to the left. So start from once one end and keep moving to the other end of the page. And the direction of your color should be same throughout whenever you have a free space. So for this wall, I have taken yellow, yellow color. Bright yellow and this slowly I'm filling colors into the wall and you know when you draw uh, so neatly then your coloring should also be done very neatly otherwise all your hard work gets wasted if you scribble around if you don't fill colors nicely yes agreed i can see all of you very good you are all concentrating so well and following my instructions i'm watching all of you very good
So Anna, again, your mic is on mute. If you're saying something, I can't hear you. I just saw that you were saying something. I was not saying. I'm singing something. Oh, you were singing something. What were you singing? I was singing singing the Hindi song. Oh, really? Can you sing it and can you tell us? Yes, sir. I only know a little bit. Tell me, tell me. Oh, oh good. This is so good. So nice it was. Okay, so there is one more thing that I want to add on. Like she just sang a song whenever you are drawing. Whenever you are doing such work which requires your focus and concentration, you can put on some music also. Mom. Yes, some instrumental music. Mom. Yes, Prithvi. I know that song. You know that song. You also sing it then. I look at a little bit. so so you can teach Sahana then. Sahana knows two lines. Okay, Sahana, Prithvi will help you. <laughs> okay. Now, see, I've colored that cupboard and now I'll move to the window outside. I can show it's blue, blue sky. Okay. And the curtains, those are the curtains that can be of some color. Purple color. And the upper part of my drawing is colored now. Okay, these dialog boxes can also be or uh, be, be filled with some bright color, but whatever you have written inside, make sure that it's visible. So always choose li light shade, light color for this. Okay, now I'll move towards coloring the mother. So her hair, Maybe you can choose a brown shade also for hair. Ma. Yes, bacha. Done crazy. Very good. Show me now. Very good. Very nice. Now it's clear. Papa is standing at the background. Huh? I can see that. Very good, Prithvi. Wonderful. I love to see the drawings when you put their, your own personal touch into it. It's, it looks really very good. Okay. So, mother's hair are colored now. Let's move to coloring her face. This is her face and the arm and the finger. So, colors when you will do Watch out the boundaries that your color should not go out of the boundaries. Okay, and the dress of mama is pink colored top she's wearing. You know, you can change the colors of the clothes, but please choose the colors very wisely. Always think before doing any color, okay? You should always analyze first that how this color would look if I do it here. And will it look nice? Should I go for it? Or should I think of adding some other color? All right. So that's, this is what we should always think before choosing the colors. See, I made her clothes so colorful. Mama is wearing so colorful clothes. Now I'll move to the boy and his hair. I'm going to color black. Okay. 
and see if i go out of the boundary it's going to ruin my drawing it's going to it's going to uh, look so bad so i will always move my color very slowly when there are very less space to color okay very very slowly and carefully so that it does not go out if my color go out, goes out and if if i uh, don't uh, color neatly my drawing will not look good so you should love your drawings you should do it with care you should you should show that yes i love my drawing and i am not going to do it dirty coloring i'm going to do lovely colors it will look beautiful see i have colored the dress and in the pants we can fill dark green color for this boy now color the choice of colors is yours entirely okay but again wisely samajh tari se okay not just any color i'm picking and i'm doing it okay the floor is left so floor and now see i have used yellow already a lot of yellow so i will not take yellow again because i have taken it already and i have colored a big area with yellow so i will choose some other color i will not use yellow too much i have not taken this light blue color anywhere so you have to see these things also that you are not repeating a color a lot of times and whenever if you've used one color in a big place try avoiding to use it again okay now done see tracing, how... yes done tracing show me sana it's for you right oh. wow sana this is so cute very good very nice now start filling colors okay yes coloring backgrounds is also important i know sometimes we feel too much of coloring it is but you can always do it slowly you can always take your time and you can always finish it in two attempts okay not it's not important to finish it right now because in hurry when you do something in hurry it is not very good it becomes dirty only so you can maybe do the background today and maybe you can do rest of the coloring tomorrow but don't make it dirty and the color in my floor is also almost done finished okay now i'll color the broken pieces of this plate and the book finished i am done finished with my colors now see how is it looking good i can see your thumbs ups very good even you are also going to create beautiful drawings i know that now one by one i will ask you to lift up and show me what have you drawn so far okay then yes please the blocks 
Yo, yes, I left the blocks. Thank you so much. So I'll fill 